Well, well, well. Greetings, Taurus. Welcome to your horoscope. So, you know, Libra and, you know, Sun and Mars in the sixth house. So, taking care of health issues. You know, when we go into fall, the weather changes, it gets windier, there's dust, there's pollen, there's all types of stuff. And it can affect your immune system. And, you know, taking a little bit of, um, is it vitamin D3 can really help because you're not getting enough sun anymore, which is a healing factor for your immune system, for all kinds of things, a little bit of zinc, vitamin C, you know, you want to boost yourself up. A lot of my um, Vedic teachers have said, you know, watch out for the flu and stuff this winter that, you know, this could be a really crazy winter for illnesses. And, you know, some people will, you know, get themselves injected with something. I don't really know what to think about it because I know a lot of sometimes sometimes not everybody receives those the best way um, and they don't always back it up with um, oh we're sorry you had a reaction <laughs> oh gee I'm sorry you're sterilized <laughs> it was an accident kind of on purpose but you know you know, you know so you know just you know think before you think before you get shot um, and um, the other thing is, you know, I know, herd, herd immunity, yes, I, I get it, you know. I, I think in most of my generation, we had herd immunity because we all had measles, chicken pox, and mumps when we were little kids. So, you know, in those days, it wasn't killing most of us. So I, I, I don't know. I think there's a much weaker breed of humans out there. So they're, they're, they're all dependent upon artificial medicines and all kinds of weird things to keep themselves alive, you know. It's like, oh, okay. So, Taurus, you know about this stuff, right? Stay healthy. So, Venus moving into your seventh house. This is a beautiful thing with Mercury. You know, Mercury in your seventh house, you become the sweet talker. Venus in your seventh house, you know, you become sensual. It's like, ooh, partners are coming to me. They're loving me. I'm getting the love. I'm going to get loved up the way I want to be loved up. Um, and even Jupiter in the eighth house, it's like other people are rewarding you, you know. And, and now all these planets this weekend are in the ninth house. This is a really good getaway weekend if you wanted to go somewhere, have fun. You know, if you're in Northern California, I mean, you could go to um, the Hose Down Festival in Gwinda. It's a great festival. It's so much fun. Um, and um, I, I think you'd meet somebody. You know, you might have a good time. Um, and your social life, if you keep it on the spiritual thing, it's going to be good. And, you know, there's, there's karma right now with education and information and what's real and what's not real. And, you know, I, I think everybody sees half the glass. They see half the story. You don't see the whole thing. And so this is important to keep that, that kind of mindset right now. It's like you're not necessarily seeing the whole thing. And it's like, hey, you don't have to be attached to that. All right, so 